What's up, Bank Squad? Tony Banks here, back at it again with another video. Hopefully, everybody is having a great day today. The Alpha is no longer here, and I am sad, but at the same time, I am glad that I got a chance to have hands-on experience with this game. I told myself, even from the first time we received gameplay, we received just, just talks about this game, that I wasn't gonna put out an opinion until I actually got hands-on experience, finally have it and I'm so happy that I actually do and I can say that I really truly do enjoy this game In my head if this game wasn't good this was going to be my last Call of Duty but I'm glad to say that this will not be my last I enjoy this one so much and I just can't wait to see how it is in the beta and also moving on to the full release as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail of today's video we are going to be talking about my final thoughts of this game but before we hop into that one of the reasons why I think I truly love this game thus far, even though it barely just came out, you know, for, you know, out in the public, I think it's because it brings me back to those old Infinity Ward, you know, like moments, the nostalgia. This game truly, in my heart, feels like a Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and in yesterday's video that you guys watched, the guy that I played with, I used to play Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 with him all the time as we were growing up in middle school, and the feeling just that good feeling of playing with a friend especially of an old call of duty i have that back again like i said it's that nostalgia and i think that's one of the biggest reasons why i enjoyed this game so much but moving on into some of the stuff that i have written down the gun sounds the sounds are so realistic or so similar and i absolutely love it shooting outside of, like if i was shooting at my spawn versus shooting in that crate you can hear the different effects of the gun and i love it each gun is unique to its own um, you can you have bullets flying out you have smoke coming out of the guns it is absolutely amazing and I'm so glad they decided to go with the more realistic feel Call of Duty is, is known in the recent years to try to switch things up and sometimes it could be good sometimes it could be bad but with this new one I'm actually glad that they decided to go with a more realistic feel for the Call of Duty I enjoy it a lot that goes into my next one the movement of the game it is nice it is smooth I love it going back to when we first got you know the the multiplayer footage from the youtubers they said it was slow but in my personal opinion i thought it was a lot slower than what it is now what it is it's not too slow but it's also at the same time it's not too fast it's right in the middle it is perfect i feel like it's realistic it's how it would be in real life and also with the slide i absolutely love the slide it is not too fast it is not too slow it's perfect as if it really was in real life if you were going to slide you're not going to go super far but it's going to get you to the place that you want to get if you want to like just slide to cover really quick i love it and i'm so glad that they decided to go with the realism the guns i absolutely love the guns in this game there's like two lmgs that i don't like but nonetheless they were still fun to use and i enjoyed them some of my favorite guns in this game were the m13 uh the mp7 and also the 50 cal deagle i absolutely loved those guns and I'm pretty sure I said it in a video before, but I believe it's called the L86A1. That gun is one of my favorite guns in the entire world, and I enjoyed it a lot in this game. Finally getting that gun in a Call of Duty makes me so happy. Uh, for the people who don't know, that gun uh, from the games that I've played are in Rainbow Six Siege and also in Battlefield. And I love using those guns in Battlefield, and I'm so glad it finally found its way over here to Call of Duty. Nonetheless, all of the guns are fun, and I can't wait to see all the other guns that we have in store for the beta and also the full release. Moving on to more realism, the way you throw your stuns and frags, it is amazing. And I think this is gonna give some people the edge over other people because in other games, you really didn't see this aspect. So if you throw a stun, obviously obviously it's gonna get to the place that you want, you know, want it to go. But at the same time, if there's a little crack, a little crevice that you want to get it into, there's places where you can throw your stun. There's places where you can throw your frag. Well, it will bounce off and go into the place that you want it to go into. And I absolutely love that. I'm glad that they brought something like that in. And like I said, it's going to give that extra edge over the, the experienced players to some of the people who you know are just are casual players. And I'm so glad that they decided to add another realism factor into this game. 
Moving on to the next one is actually what you guys are watching right now. It is the gunfight mode. I absolutely love the gunfight mode, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. When the beta does come out, and even when the full release does come out, I honestly don't think I will be playing gunfight mode as much as you know I would if it's just gunfight mode on its own. I'm more of the 6v6, I like the actual gameplay how it is, but 2v2, I don't think I'm going to be playing it that much. I'll play it if me and you know one of my friends want to go and you know just relax, just be us, you know, if you know team deathmatch or you know hard point domination whatever really isn't working out, teammates are sucking, we just wanted to rely on us too. Obviously, we'll come over here, but for the most part, I think I am going to stick to regular, you know, 6v6 or free for all cuz you guys know I absolutely love free for all, but the maps on gunfight were absolutely amazing and hopefully it's just not the maps that they have here. I believe the maps that we got were Pine, Speedball, King, Stack, and Doc. I love all of them except for Pine. Pine, I disliked it so much, but still the layout, how it is, how each map is, I think it's, it's awesome. And hopefully they do come out with more maps uh, when it does come to gunfight because I would definitely want to see how it is. And hopefully they add 1v1 and also 3v3, just like Mono for 3. If they do, I will absolutely love it. I don't know if I'll play it even more, but I will still play it from time to time. Like I said, I will stick to my traditional 6v6, but with the maps and everything, hopefully we get the same type of feel uh, uh, like how 2v2 is with the actual, you know, um, 6v6 and everything because they said they're not going with the traditional three lane map. It's going to be a lot more cluttered, a lot more realistic. Like I said, I do enjoy that factor, but I just want everything to run smooth and we'll have to see how everything does go for that. Moving on to the next thing, which is most likely the last. The footsteps in this game are absolutely amazing. I have never heard footsteps this great. I really, really noticed it when I was playing on the map Pine. Pine, you can really, really hear it if you're walking in the grass, if you're walking in the water, up the wood, everything is 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 great. And I am so glad that, you know, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but when it comes to the realistic or the realism, I'm so glad we decided to go this way. But nonetheless, I am enjoying Modern Warfare. I'm going to continue to enjoy it. I cannot wait for the beta. I have so much gameplay for you guys, whether it be just, you know, regular 2v2 like this, or where I'm by myself, or if it's the duels. I have so many duel videos for you guys, and I cannot wait to put out everything. I have tons of videos coming out, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. If you guys did enjoy this video, you guys already know what to do. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Like I said, I enjoyed this game. I will continue to enjoy it. And I can't wait, I cannot wait. But like I said, guys, if you do, or if you did enjoy today's video, you guys already know what to do. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And while you are there, make sure to press the bell button right next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time I do upload a new video. I'm Tony Banks, and I'll see you wonderful subscribers in the next one. Peace out.